Some 17 years ago, I became allergic to Delhi's air. My doctors told me that my lung capacity had gone down to 70%, and it was killing me. With the help of IIT, Terry, and learnings from NASA, we discovered that there are three basic green plants, common green plants, with which we can grow all the fresh air we need indoors to keep us healthy. We've also found that you can reduce the fresh air requirements into the building while maintaining industry indoor air quality standards. The three plants are Arika palm, Mother in Law's Tongue, and Money Plant. The botanical names are in front of you. Arika palm is a plant which removes CO2 and converts it into oxygen. We need four shoulder high plants per person, and in terms of plant care, we need to wipe the leaves every day in Delhi and perhaps once a week in cleaner air cities. We have to grow them in vermi manure, which is sterile or hydroponics, and take them outdoors every three to four months. The second plant is mother-in-law's tongue, which is again a very common plant, and we call it a bedroom plant because it converts CO2 into oxygen at night. And we need six to eight waist-high plants per person. The third plant is money plant, and this is again a very common plant, preferably grows in hydroponics. And this particular plant removes formaldehydes and other volatile chemicals. With these three plants, you can grow all the fresh air you need. In fact, you could be in a bottle with a cap on top, and you would not die at all, and you would not need any fresh air. We have tried these plants at our own building in Delhi, which is a 50,000 square feet, 20-year-old building, and it has close to 1,200 such plants for 300 occupants. Our studies have found that there is a 42% probability of one's blood oxygen going up by 1% if one stays indoors in this building for 10 hours. The government of India has discovered or published a study to show that this is the healthiest building in New Delhi. And the studies show that there is a Compared to other buildings, there is a reduced incidence of eye irritation by 52%, respiratory systems by 34%, headaches by 24%, lung impairment by 12%, and asthma by 9%. And this study has been published on September 8, 2008, and it's available on the Government of India website. Our experience points to an amazing increase in human productivity by over 20% by using these plants and also a reduction in energy requirements in buildings by an outstanding 15% because you need less fresh air. We are now replicating this in a 1.75 million square feet building, which will have 60,000 indoor plants. Why is this important? It is also important for environment because the world's energy requirements are expected to grow by 30% in the next decade. 40% of the world's energy is taken up by buildings currently, and 60 percent of the world's population will be living in buildings in, in cities with a population of over one million in the next 15 years. And there is a growing preference for living and working in air-conditioned spaces. Be the change you want to see in the world, said Mahatma Gandhi, and thank you for listening.